tell you guys your girl is a little bit disturbed by this video today I didn't expect to be doing a video like this just kidding I'm hyping it a bit but this video is gonna be about what's really in your makeup products I've always been curious about this so I was on this YouTube page and it was this girl named Haley's corner I'll put her link down here she did a video called these face products are causing your acne on this video she reviewed a site called cause DNA that really breaks down the ingredients in your products which I think is so cool but I thought hmm if they have it for normal skincare products they probably have it as well for makeup so I started doing some digging and I came up with 10 products that I'm going to look through with you guys today quick plug before I get started for those of you guys who don't know I recently gave a TED talk about and that TED talk is finally Live. I want everyone in the audience today to briefly close their eyes. And if you're watching this from home as well, I want you to close your eyes. But yeah, my TED Talk is finally live. I'm so excited. The link will be at the top of the description box below, guys. Please support, show love. Thank you so much for just being with me through this process and I appreciate y'all, I love y'all. And it was so great to be able to, you know, speak these words in front of a platform as big as 11 million people. That's crazy. If you guys see me looking down, I'm actually looking at a list that I put on my laptop. Now feel free in this video not to take my word for anything and just do your own research on every ingredient that you see today. But I just wanted to bring you guys this resource and bring it to the table so that it could get that process started for you if there's certain ingredients you wanna start avoiding in the future. And now I'm about to do my first product where I'm about to search, I'm a little nervous. It's going to be the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. So let me look at this now. Ink Primer. Okay, let's see. Searching. All right, and as you can see by the screen recording, if I insert the screen recording, I might just do still images, but uh, you want to look at the year when um, you see these reviews and there's different dates. So I just look for the closest one, and right now it looks like this 2017 date is the newest one. So it goes by acne, irritant, and safety. So the acne side usually goes from, I think, about one to five, Irritants goes to one to five and then safety usually goes from one to nine based on like FDA um, FDA approval and then case studies and research, etc. Now basically let's go down this list. All right, so we've got water glycerin You guys can feel free to look at this and decide based on uh, the ingredients what you see the first ingredient that jumps out at me is dimethicone so there is a silicone lightly in that. Of course, I have curly hair, so we always just, my eye just naturally darts to silicones all the time. But that um, is common in primers because it usually keeps um, that slick, smooth surface and it kind of sits on top of your pores to give you that like flawless look. But let's keep going. So I'm looking at the large e.l.f. Uh, hydrating face primer. And what I do see is that they do have retinol palmitate, which is a vitamin A. Um, derivative and I believe that studies in 2010 showed that this could possibly be linked to cancer but those studies are not finalized yet I will look deeper into this but that is the elf hydrating primer okay so let's see what else I'm kind of curious to look at everything all right so the second thing that I chose was the Maybelline fit me foundation very popular foundation so let's see what we can see on this screen recording right now so so far so good um i'm seeing the one thing that jumps out at me with this is the alcohol but um let's see so that can be a harsh irritant on the skin as you can see it's a five out of five i believe on the irritant scale um doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm still going, still going. Woo! All right, so we have a, I forget how to pronounce this. I think it's butyl paraben, but parabens, as you saw in the beginning of the video, can be a bit dangerous as a preservative. Um, there are many natural preservative alternatives, so I hope makeup brands start, um, you know, experimenting with finding better alternatives to paraben as a preservative. That's something I expected to see actually quite a bit in makeup and skincare as well. 
Alright, so the next product we're going to go to is a popular one, the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. So, um, I know a few people that did say they broke out from this foundation. I have not personally tried it yet, but I went on to like 2017 slash 2018 popular products and I just grabbed a few. Some I recognize and some I haven't yet tried, so let's see. Alright, so, so far so good. Again, as we get to right here, um, we see the alcohol is in here as well as a 5 out of 5 for an irritant. 4 out of 9 on safety because it is kind of in a lot of products today. Then we have um, Mistral Lactate. I also, like I said, advise you guys to look into these ingredients on your own time as well. Um, because you can actually click on the website and read more about them. But since you have them in this nice organized list, you can read about them and Google them, which is what I did once I started using this site. Um, whoo, okay. Once we get down here, oh gosh. Okay, once we get down here, um, sunscreen. But we got a couple very high ingredients. Okay, this is one thing I wanted you guys to look out for. Fragrances. When you see three, what are this, three, fra four fragrances right here. Four fragrances. Fragrances can um, endure thousands and thousands of chemicals that make them fragrant, make them have that effect. So that's something I definitely say watch out for in your makeup products is fragrance. It can be kind of bad <laughs> on your skin. All right, I look for a lot of things that say fragrance free. Let's see, the next one I chose was the Rimmel London Long Lasting Foundation as I wanted to jump between high-end products and drugstore. So let's see what we got here. All right, looking looking pretty good. Uh, we have another sunscreen here, but a, must, a much less, um, you know, I wouldn't say dangerous, but like on the safety scale, it's much lower than that other sunscreen we saw in the Huda Beauty Foundation. Let's see. Scrolling down, scrolling down. We got the alcohol again. I'm gonna say like, I hope foundations as well. Now that I'm learning this, I see a lot of foundations have alcohol in them. Let, I know it helps sometimes, um, different types of alcohols can help with skin and absorption of product, but for foundation, I kinda don't want my skin to absorb the product. All right, so here we go. We've got a fragrance and a type of sunscreen that are a bit heavier on the safety scale. Wow, and then we've got, let's see. So yeah, this one has a lot of fragrances in it as well, and then some uh, other ingredients in here that have no matched results. But let's go on. So the next one I chose is a cult favorite as well, and it's going to be the LA Girl HD Pro Concealer. So let's see. Um, wow, okay. Beeswax eh, can be an irritant depending on your tolerance of it but not a major thing. But as we see again, as we get down to the preservative side, it's got propyl paraben and butyl paraben. Um, again, preservatives, that's one thing I said, I hope to see less of in 2018 and moving forward is those preservatives. All right, next we're gonna go to another cult favorite and that is our Ben Nye translucent powder, y'all. Ben Nye. I've been using Ben Nye for a long time, so let's see. Oh. As soon as I look down, I just see these two parabens. So again, if you're someone who likes to avoid parabens, I hope that this video is helpful to you because you can see kind of some of these products that have it. Um, it's hard really to find good uh, preservatives for certain products because uh, what preservatives do is help for microbial bacteria developing in your skincare products, but it's also like kind of it's like a balance and a trade-off where it's like, okay, you have these kind of health concerns that can arise from using that product. All right, so another translucent powder I wanted to look into was the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And so I go here, there's a lot more ingredients in this one than the Ben Nye. But again, as we see, there are two of the exact same parabens that we saw in the Ben Nye. Um, other ingredients though for Laura Mercier look pretty good. Um, I don't see any strong, strong irritants, except for right here, there might be a few minor things that could cause acne. All right, my next one I was actually quite pleased with was actually the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this is another cult favorite, it's been around for years. So, when I looked at the Urban Decay, I did notice that they had alcohol, but again, it's kind of hard to get away from that in certain makeup products. So, 
that was the one major thing that could be if you're very uh, sensitive with your skin. I would uh, refrain from using this as a primer and more so just stick to it as a setting spray because then this one I was so pleased with you guys. I looked at the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lipsticks. This made me want to go buy an entire set because I went in and I saw they had some solvent, a minor and very safe fragrance, emollients, um, ingredients for viscosity control, solvent, pigment, pigment, and a little bit of a mild sunscreen. So these ingredients were fabulous, honestly. I mean, not fabulous, like you wanna eat them, but like they, out of what we've seen. Lastly, I looked at this brand of Rimmel Lipstick, and when I say guys, I was shocked. They have one thing that is an antioxidant, that vitamin A compound, that is a nine out of nine on the safety scale for dangerous products. They have one, two, Three, four, I see, five. They have five different parabens in this one lipstick. I am literally shocked. And when I say it might be time to let Rimmel go, y'all, because when I go to the drugstore, um, I have to play Where's Waldo a little bit to find my shade in Rimmel products. So, I don't know, these ingredients not looking too hot, y'all. But anyway, let me know if you guys like this video and if you guys want me to do a part two with hair products or more makeup and comment down below. Don't forget to check out my TED Talk and I love you guys. Peace out and gang gang. I'll see you in the next video. Gang, 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 gang.